This is Kelso Sturgeon. Thank you for joining me for another big day at my College of Advanced Football Handicapping. All about uh, Sunday's NFL games. We're going to run them down from top to bottom, make a few comments. But before we do, here's what uh, I'm doing today for my uh, various clubs and clients. My Best Bets Club releasing three games. Uh, the highlight of that package will be Sunday night's game between the New England Patriots and the Baltimore Ravens, a 25-unit play. Go 3-0 and with my Best Bets package for just $25. Then coming right back with my, going for my third straight winning 50-unit NFL game of the week. Found another standout play and I'm confident I'll get the cash for, uh, uh, for the third straight time and remain undefeated in these games. Uh, you could win this one for just $50. Also, coming right back with a 100-unit NFL blowout play on a game that has such a short line uh, that I can't believe it. One team absolutely stands out over the other. Could easily win by three or four touchdowns and will be laying a very modest price. So, I intend to win my 100-unit NFL blowout game of the week today. $50. So, let me run it down from top to bottom. As we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have my uh, three-team best bets package, $25. My 50-unit uh, NFL uh, game of the week, uh, $50. And my 100-unit NFL blowout, also $100. All these games available on this website and toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. All major credit cards are accepted. Now let's run these games down from top to bottom. Uh, first, a comment about... Uh, uh, Thursday night's game where I lost a 25-unit play uh, on the Carolina Panthers as New York won that game 36-7. Uh, to 7. What in the world was going on here? I think it just boils down to one thing. Tom Coughlin can coach uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Revere can't. I mean, uh, the Giants rolled into town short of three, uh, two starting offensive players and key players, <coughs> excuse me, and... Uh, with an injury list uh, quite long. Dominated the game from start to finish with a game plan that fit the talent the Giants had. Coughlin looked like a genius. Rivera looked like a fool. Now let's get to today's games. Uh, Chicago uh, hosting St. Louis. Chicago opened a nine-point favorite, been bet down to seven. Uh, the money is on the under in this one. And the question I have, will the Chicago Bears uh, offensive line lay down on a play or two and uh, get even with uh, quarterback Jay Cutler. Let him get waxed a couple of times and really see what happens when they don't block. I know I would. Uh, we have the Tampa Bay at Dallas. Uh, Dallas opened seven, now seven and a half. Uh, Dallas in major bounce back form after that awful loss uh, last week at Seattle. Uh, we have the Giant, a bigger part of the 49ers at Minnesota. Uh, San Francisco opened six and a half, now seven. Uh, the money is on the under. By the way, the money is on the over in the Tampa Bay Dallas game. Uh, the line just seems a little bit short here for me. You know, Minnesota uh, may be one and one, but this is a pretty bad football team. And the way the uh, 49ers uh, are playing, I'd have to lean a little bit that way and lay the seven. We have Detroit at Tennessee. Uh, Detroit. Uh, uh, much better than its one and one record. Could easily have beaten San Francisco with a break or two in its last game. Tennessee has just fallen off the edge of the world. Here's a team that is averaging 11 and a half points on offense, giving up 36 on defense, uh, 0 and 2, and absolutely helpless. Uh, once again, Detroit uh, uh, opened at three, is now three and a half or four. No significant action one way or the other on the total. We have Cincinnati at Washington. Uh, tremendous amount of money on the over in this game. Uh, Washington uh, opened three and a half, is now three. Don't have a much of opinion here. The New York Jets at Miami. The Jets opened three, they're two and a half. No significant moves on the uh, total here. Uh, the Jets uh, look like they should be the favorite uh, over uh, what I think is a bad Miami team. Uh, we'll see. Kansas City, a terrible, terrible team this season for whatever the reason. Uh, a nine-point underdog at New Orleans. The Saints opened minus 10, they're now minus 9. No significant action here. And I'll say this, 
if the Saints can't beat the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, it's all over. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> and New Orleans has looked terrible in its first two games. Buffalo open three, still three at Cleveland. No significant play here on the total. Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Indianapolis open three and a half, now three. No significant play on the total. Uh, hard for me to touch this game, but if I did, I'd have to take the underdog, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. <clears throat> I don't think what you saw last week with Indianapolis is what you're going to get every week. We have Philadelphia and Arizona. Uh, both teams are 2-0, and and I think we're going to get a chance to see what they're both made of today. Uh, uh, Philadelphia's a set open 4.5, now 3.5. Uh, big time money on the under in this game. Atlanta uh, at uh, San Diego. Uh, uh, San Diego open 3.5, now 3. Uh, both teams undefeated. Uh, San Diego playing especially well, averaging 30 points a game, giving up 12. Uh, in this game, uh, big time money on the over. Houston and Denver. Houston, I believe, is the best team in the NFL. Uh, they open one. They're now two and a half. Uh, money on the under here. And once again, I can't say more. I think Houston is the best team in the NFL. Uh, we have Pittsburgh and Oakland. Uh, seem to be a modest line here. Pittsburgh opened four and a half. They're now four. No significant money on the total. Uh, the line just seems bad here, and if I use the game, I'd have to take the Steelers. They just seem to stand head and shoulders above an Oakland team that looks completely disorganized to me. In fact, an Oakland team is averaging 13 and a half points a game, giving up uh, 28 and a half. Then we have that New England-Baltimore game, a real showdown matchup to say the least. Baltimore opened three, now two and a half. Uh, no significant play on the total. Now, <clears throat> once again, let me run down from top to bottom what I'm doing uh, today. A three-game package highlighted by a 25-unit play on the Patriots-Raven game. Another 100-unit uh, NFL blowout game of the week. And going for my third straight 50-unit uh, NFL game of the week winner, you can get all these games toll-free at 1-800-755 or right here on this website. Once again, 1-800-755-2255 are on this website. All uh, major credit cards are accepted. Thank you. Be back here on Tuesday.